Okay, so I went to Walmart the other day and I saw this Sam's Choice Premium European Chocolate Dark ch Oh, it's dark chocolate? Dark chocolate, but it's like oat milk chocolate. Wouldn't that just be oat milk chocolate? Are they not allowed to say milk chocolate? Okay, well anyways, it's made with oat milk. It's certified fair trade and a uh, carbon neutral product, but it was like so cheap. I'm gonna have to check on how much it was, but I feel like it was like, it was like less than $2. Anyways, I really want to try it. Very curious. So, I have heard nothing of this product. Walmart always surprises me, you know? It looks pretty dark, to be honest, but let's see. Yeah, I guess it would still be dark chocolate. I mean, I guess a lot of dark chocolates have milk in them. It's like a creamier dark chocolate. It's definitely a dark chocolate with some milk in it. Okay, I get it. <laughs> it's really good. I would recommend it, especially for how cheap it was. Pretty dang good. Let me know if you've ever seen the Hershey's non-dairy chocolate, non-dairy milk chocolate, because I have not been able to find it yet. Also, speaking of chocolate at Walmart, we also found these Unreal candies there. Yeah, at Walmart. Cheaper than at Sprouts, but still not that cheap. Because like, where else can you get vegan M&Ms? So sad. Don't sleep on Walmart, you guys. Walmart has some good stuff. I got the vegan shin ramen there. I got these. I got this oat milk chocolate. Um, they have my favorite peanut butter, Laura Scudder. She's the queen, love her. Okay, so any of you guys who watched my week of eating only stereotypical vegan foods videos, you will know that I made an amazing matcha banana float beverage and I loved it and then I also made a coffee float type thing so now I want to make the matcha drink again but I want to make it with strawberry banana ice cream what fun to co collaborate to combine the two amazing beverages and make something new and this time we're gonna make matcha the proper way, which I usually don't do in my videos because I didn't have all the proper tools such as this beautiful matcha bowl courtesy of matcha.com and also the matcha whisk and sieve. So while I prepare the matcha for my little drinky drink, I'll tell you a little about matcha.com, which is the sponsor of today's video. So exciting. As you probably know, matcha is becoming more and more popular in Western countries, but it can still be hard to find higher quality matcha. And sometimes you end up with a dull colored matcha that's actually more bitter with less of the sweet vegetal taste that it should have. Matcha.com is a great place to get high quality, organic, Japan grown and harvested matcha, as well as matcha tools like I'm using here. But they also have a variety of products at different price points. So you're able to find whatever works best for you. When you buy from matcha.com, you're also helping to protect the few remaining authentic Japanese matcha tea farmers as there's less than 60 authentic matcha tea farms left in the world due to big corporations. I've already made several fun drinks with my matcha.com products for videos and just in general and obviously loving it. So if you want to get some high quality matcha or tools for yourself, make sure you use my code Emily Ewing to get 20% off your first purchase. You can also give them a follow on Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube for more matcha content content and recipes and now let's make that strawberry banana nice cream for the drink. It's good to make two servings of this or more at a time because it's harder to blend if you don't have very much in there, you know? When you're trying to do like really thick smoothie like ice cream. Okay. I was making a bag of frozen strawberries but instead I just have the cherry berry blend that I'm gonna pick the strawberries out of. But that's okay. that this might be too much but you know okay milk putting the least amount possible really gonna need the plunger on this one no not plunger what is it called um what is this called i'm not sure as like smooth as I wanted but it's kind of cute how you can see the like speckles of strawberry you know okay I think that's good no. okay quite exciting oh my gosh that's so cute looking I might end up adding more milk <laughs> it looks weird with not enough like liquid in there 
All right, so I did my best. That's very interesting, very interesting. I love the vividness of the colors, especially the green and the white together. That looks absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's try it. I'm gonna try to get some, okay. Okay, it's pretty full. <laughs> trying to get some of the ice cream. It needs more fruit, but it's really good. And then kind of eat the fruit with the matcha. Unfortunately, this one's not gonna look as cute when you stir it in at all, but it's very fun. Next time I wanna make a chocolate banana matcha one. I think that might be even better. I'm gonna try it with a little bit of agave for sweetener. The banana one, because it was just like super ripe banana, it was really sweet. Like it definitely didn't need any sweetener, but because strawberries aren't as sweet, you know, it might be better. Yeah, it's so ugly now. But that's, you know, that's strawberry matcha. It's just red and green. They're not really colors that should be mixed together, but the flavors are quite yummy together. It's very cute before you mix it. That's the fun of it. It's like a journey of events, you know? Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's better. Starting with frozen stuff, I got frozen edamame, frozen vegetable mix, two for five garden sausage Benny breakfast bowl. And it was on sale, so, well, everything's on sale there, I guess. I was hungry while shopping. This is just like very curious. Un Unlimit, Unlimit, plant-based pulled pork gochujang, which I'm like, I've never seen this brand before. It was not that cheap, to be honest, but like, you know, affordable-er than some. Women-owned business, okay. I was just fascinated. The first ingredient is gochujang, and then like, you know, soy sauce and soybean oil, blah, 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 and then soy protein. So like, there's more gochujang in this than there is like soy protein. That's quite interesting. Kite Hill soft spreadable cheese, garlic and herb. I don't know if I've had this before, but it was only $2.49, so. I haven't had it before, I know that now. I feel like Kite Hill products are usually very pricey, so I basically never buy them except for at grocery outlet, so this was a really good deal but this cheese spread is very similar actually to the borson vegan cheese if you've tried that but this one has nuts in it so i wonder if that makes it a little more filling or something because i feel like the borson if you look at the ingredients it seems like there's not much going on there you know it's just like oil but anyways this is really good and it's good with chips or crackers dipped in it or put on bread or something like that, or you could dip veggies in it. Seitan strips for a good price? I don't know. I'm gonna stock up on like random proteins and stuff because I won't buy them anywhere else, you know? So when I go to grocery outlet, I end up buying like a million. I got two Miyoko's mozzarella. I love this stuff, but it's like $9 everywhere, but this was $2.99, so I got two. Um, it expires in like a week or so, but we might be able to freeze it. I got these sausages. Whenever I see like a grillable sausage, AKA like these or like the Beyond Meat or Impossible for like a good deal, I try to buy it so that the next time I'm invited to some sort of barbecue, <laughs> sometime, some type of grill event, I will have something to bring um, for myself rather than like having to be like, oh, I have to go to the store and get Beyond sausages or whatever. I tried a Sweet Earth sausage like these in a video sometime where it was like ginger scallion or something. It was really good actually. I also got this just because I'm very interested because it's vegan shrimp. You don't see a lot of like vegan shrimp products. Um, and I think it was like 250 and I was hungry while shopping. So I was like, when I get home, I can eat this. It's only 250 calories though. I mean, that's like a small meal, you know? but vegan shrimp in a microwave meal, so I'm very fascinated. From the same brand, I guess this is like a vegan and gluten-free brand, like an allergy-friendly brand, but I got this pizza by them also, Clo Clo. Spicy meatless Moroccan pizza. It has Clo Clo habanero style shreds, Clo Clo Moroccan chicken sausage crumble, eggplant, caramelized onions, truffle flavored oil, and the crust is made from sweet potatoes, so. You know, I'm just very interested to see. So from looking at the box, it looks really good, I think. I don't know, it looks good to me. And then taking it out of the box, it doesn't look so good. It's like a very bright orange crust with very gray toppings, and it looks very unappetizing. And then even after it cooks, 
you would think the grayness would like go away like usually with meat you know it's gray and then it cooks and it's like brown but no it still looks like very gray and orange it just looks like a halloween pizza but honestly i thought it tasted good and i didn't mind the sweet potato crust it's like interesting you know i don't know it was flavorful enough but but definitely not like a normal pizza, I guess, you know? It just looks so cursed. Like, why does it look like that? It, it makes you want to cook it longer because you want to get the gray stuff to not be gray anymore. But then you just start burning the sweet potato crust, so that's a bit of an issue. But anyways, I got these, which I love. I was hoping to get the Wonder Milk at Grocery Outlet because they had had it for a while and it was always like 99 cents and it's really good. It's quite similar to these though. These are like $5 at Target. I got them for $1.49, $2.49, I think. I got the whole fat and the 2%. I got some lavash because it was cheap and I haven't made like wraps in a long time and I was thinking about it and I was like, mm, that sounds good. These... Cadges, I don't really know how to say that name. Cadges, Cadges, some vegan sour gummies. The marketing packaging is very fascinating to me. Can't wait to eat those. I got two of these canned raw kombuchas because I don't know, it sounded good. I haven't had kombucha in a while. I think they were like $1.99. Smooth brew to taste and feel good. The boo, the boo. Really excited about this. It's pantry stable ground veggie meatless mix and it's like, you know, just dry. You add hot water, oil, and one large onion and you just cook it up in a pan. They also have microwave directions, which is interesting. I have not tried something like this before. I mean, I've tried TVP, but like I've never tried like a pre-made mix where it's like flavored already and stuff, but this is like great for the future of plant-based protein you know it just makes it so much more like accessible yeah that's really cool to like be able to have just like packets like this in the pantry for whenever you need like protein the big bag of sourdough we always get the little one and it's like the the slices are wider and there's less of them and i always have been thinking like we should start getting this because it's like smaller slices sometimes the other ones the slices are too big you know yeah, I don't know if you guys are familiar. San Luis, San Luis sourdough. Um, if you didn't know they have a long one, they have a long one, so. I got this cereal. I love a good, like, very plain cereal that you can kind of just, like, mix in with other cereals or granolas or whatever. I got some peanut butter granola, so I will be mixing it with the other one. Because, like, sometimes you just want a little bit of granola, you know? And then sometimes you want, like, a cereal with granola. So here's me eating some cereal, and I'm actually using a lot of things that I got from Grocery Outlet. The cornflakes and also the granola. I'm just adding these, like, Kamut puffs because we have them. And then I'm using the Next Milk. This is the 2% one, which I usually use for, like, like basically anything, cereal, smoothies, whatever. And then I usually save the whole milk one for like making coffees or matcha. It's also really good to dip cookies in. I've been adding frozen blueberries to my cereal these days. I either put the frozen blueberries on the cereal and then wait for a little bit for the blueberries to thaw and then I pour my milk so it doesn't get soggy, you know? Or I'll put the berries in the bowl and microwave the bowl for a little, a very small amount so it's not as frozen, you know? And then mix in the cereal and the milk and stuff. Cause yeah, I'll never buy berries just fresh because I feel like they'll always go bad for me and it's so expensive. I got a lot of little things just that sounded interesting to try. I got a pink beetroot pesto sauce and what is this? Orange pumpkin pesto sauce. Very, very interested in these. I was like, what do you even use these for? at first, but luckily they do have serving suggestions. I love serving suggestions. For the pink one, it says to like um, eggplant, bell peppers, zucchini, basically make like a pizza with this, with like grilled veggies and cheese and stuff. So that sounds interesting. And then the pumpkin one, it suggests to make like a pasta with it. So um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll do something like that, but I'm just quite fascinated. This would be good for a nice little fall meal. I just got this because it was like cheap. I don't know, it's like a healthy gummy. Has like less sugar and stuff. I think there's, uh, oh, and it's vegan, obviously. And it was only mixed berry. The, my favorites are the berry ones. Yeah, it has like stevia and stuff, so. I'm only 
always fascinated to try these types of things. I got help like low sugar gummies and then also regular sugar gummies, you know? Sometimes you're in a certain mood. And then I also got this vegan jerky. I, I just had the thought to like look in the jerky section because they have a large jerky section there. And I was like, what if there, I don't know, maybe there's vegan jerky there. Um, and there was, there was vegan jerky, so. And then I got four stasher bags because I've never owned a stasher bag and I've always wanted to own stasher bags because I've heard they're way better than other reusable bags that I've tried before that didn't work out. But they're so expensive at a lot of stores, which like, you know, reasonably, cause like you're supposed to reuse them for a long time, it's fine. But I just kept thinking like, I don't really need it if it's that much, you know? I'll wait till it's on sale. Grocery Alley got them for $7 each. Um, traditional German salad, um, pickled veggies. Okay, I'm having, having myself a little chickpea salad sandwich right now with some chickpea salad that my mom actually made for a trip and then forgot at her house and so asked me to go get it and eat it for her. <laughs> so I'm eating it and trying to use it up. And also I thought about trying this traditional German salad veggies on the sandwich. I'm not sure how I will like them. I mean, I'm sure I'll like them, but I'm not sure what I will like them for. I know I would like them for like a hot dog, but I'm not necessarily sure if I would like them for a sandwich or what else, because I need to use them, because it's a big jar. And should I have got this jar? How long do they last? Mmm. Ooh. It's just like a, like a relish. That's so good. Yeah. I'm gonna put some spinach. The last of some very limp spinach, but you know, making it work. Olive oil. Yes. Mmm. A very refreshing sandwich. And then that's it. And um, yes, grocery outlet haul. So for some reason, I want like refreshing things. Maybe it's like the fact that like summer's ending and I, I need to like get that last bit of like refreshingness, you know? So I'm going to make an easy little matcha lemonade or like matcha lemon drink. I don't know. I've had matcha lemonade a lot where I just literally pour some matcha into some lemonade and that's quite delicious and amazing. But I've never like put fresh lemon in the matcha, you know what I mean? If it's not so much a lemonade, it would just be like a refreshing lemon matcha beverage and I wanna have that sour. Yes. So first of all, some water. I have a half of a lemon here that's left over. Okay, matcha. And then we're just gonna froth it. Just, just go for it, you know? Half of a lemon. And then I'm just gonna add some agave. Agave, simple little sweetener, you know? Okay, I could take more lemon. But that is nice. It's, that's a nice little lemon beverage. More lemon. Mmm, more sweet. I love milk matcha. That sounds weird. Matcha latte or like creamy matcha beverages. But almost as much, I love lemon matcha. Look at how green. Ooh, so good. Ah. So good. So anyways, speaking of getting the vegan shin ramen at Walmart, I was very excited. I've never seen the full like four pack of vegan ramen like this anywhere. I've only found the vegan ramen in cups at grocery outlet. So anyways, here's me making some. I was very excited for me and my roommate. And I'm just adding like, you know, random stuff I have in the fridge that I want to use up and just making a nice little veggie ramen. It's very good. It's like not spicy. It, I think it labels it on the package as like mild. I'm not really adding any like flavors to it this time. It's really just like a veggie ramen with added veggies. I did make this again, but the next time we made it, we added some kimchi and like kimchi juice to it, you know? And that just made it like 10 times better. It was so good with the kimchi juice. Oh my gosh. Um, or if you have like some gochujang gochujaro, really, really good. 
really, really oh i did add this okay, so i added some chili garlic to to the bowl and that was good but yeah no you gotta add like something kimchi in there and it's so good so anyways yes highly recommend and that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and clicking on it and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you got some food spo maybe saw some products that you want to try to look for and i hope you find them and um thank you again to matcha.com for sponsoring this video and sending me some awesome matcha and i will see you in the next one okay bye bye